All right, folks. Hello here, Doyle King here from the uh, from the MSW uh, headquarters here in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. As uh, we're here for a press conference, and uh, basically, I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with the whole situation that happened in Shockwave last night or what. I have no idea, but. Uh, I don't know, there seems to be quite a few long faces here. They seem to be sad. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Yeah, I hope. I don't know. Well, well let's take it away. We see Bobby Six Killer coming up the office day. Well, evening, everybody that's on the forum here. And uh, I don't know, maybe we're not going to like the news, what's going on. But let's go to Bobby Six Killer right now with the uh, thing. <coughs> Yeah, thank you there, everybody. I mean, seriously, uh, thank you for all coming here. Thank you for uh, some of the roster being here. Thank you for uh, most of our office employees and everything else and stuff like this. I'll tell you that much right now. And, uh, yeah, I was rehabbing at home for a while because I got injured by uh, Joe Kenny. But everything seems to be good. I mean, uh, I hold no, you know, hey. I should never got in that ring when there was a whole gang of people in there. I admit that much right now, but speaking of Kenny, that's what's bringing the conference to. We received some tragic news yesterday about 3.35 in the morning, or this morning, I should say. Joe Kenny is no longer with us. He has basically passed away from an excess of smoke and gas inhalation because there was a situation where he was put in an ambulance and was lit on fire by one Adrian Coleman. This one hurts. I'm going to tell you that much right now. We have all these people like Terry Funk, Steve Williams, Dusty Rhodes, Roddy Piper, and all these guys. But this one can rank right up there, especially if you are an MSW fan. Let me give you a little tidbit about Kenny, okay? How important he was to his business. 1990, it was known as uh, Great Lakes Wrestling. Very surging and it, it's struggling at the time. Very to close. All of a sudden, Kenny, you know, they, you, you know, the owner was ready to sell it for like very small price. And Kenny basically bought it for $1.5 million, which was part of his uh, lottery he won. He said he always wanted to dream about making a federation, and this is when he was 18. And with a little time, little, little elbow grease, a lot of uh, great talent that he signed, and uh, a lot of twerking or uh, tweaking around, uh, taking the rest of some of his winnings, and basically, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting choked up here. I mean, uh, it, this is, I it, this is really. I mean, unbelievable. I cannot believe I'm, I'm saying this. He took it and uh, turned it into a gi the giant that's now known as MSW. Before that, it was WWL. And then, of course, we all know we all know the story about him taking that ownership, selling it for 20 times the value that he paid for it, and uh, living out his dream as a wrestler. I mean... You know, he said it before on that press conference, and you know what, I'm going to call it true. I don't, I don't care if anybody doesn't like it or not. I mean, I'll admit to it. He get, When you wanted a hero, he gave you, uh, he gave you a hero. When you wanted a villain, he gave you the villain. Yeah, he, you know what, that's the thing about Unity. I know they take it away because... Yeah, they were also involved in the, uh, seems like the murder of, uh, M-U-O-W announcer Felix, I think, if I heard correctly, if I got that correct. And basically, you know, what the hell are these guys walking out on the street? I'm going to say that much right now. Why are these guys still walking out on the street? This has got me mad about this. As a result of this... The world's lost a respected announcer for the one federation, and then uh, now we lost somebody that was synonymous with MSW for many years. I mean, Kenny, he was like uh, 
basically, he was like one of the guys that helped out the other talent in the thing. He made MSW as an alternative to basically, if anybody wasn't working well in the WWE or anywhere else, there was MSW to come to. As a result, there was a lot of great talent that flourished underneath him. We all remember Wade Barrett when he stopped by. He, uh, he was the ECW champion for 10 months after defeating Joe Massacre. He was, uh, that's a, that was a great example. Joe, Joe Kenny saw great talent in everybody. He says he'll, he'll open the door for you. He's like, you gotta make the opportunity. That was always the saying. I'll tell you what right now, it, it hurts. I know, even though nobody will like him, but he gave you the villain and I guess nobody didn't want, or you want it. And basically, you know, Yeah, definitely, for sure. I mean, Riddle, yeah, Riddle, Riddle and Ziggler, I mean, yeah, they're both champions. I mean, definitely, no doubt about it. Good point. I mean, you know, it's like Riddle was a champion here in MSW. He was the uh, Tri-American champion, I remember, at one time here. Let me just say this right now. It is a great tragic loss. I mean, I'll say that much. Uh, gosh. I don't know how long I can keep up with this. The tears are back in my eye. The tears are swollen in my eyes, basically, and everything else. I mean, Joe Kenny was not only, not only, uh, not only good to watch on the screen, but he was good behind the scenes and everything. And uh, he was a he was a fixture at this federation. And uh, you know, it's sad. He he was fifty two years old. He leaves behind. A daughter, Carla. He leaves behind a, a son, Edmund. He also leaves behind two younger children, Samantha and Connor, who he had with Bethany. And of course, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bethany was... Uh, Bethany was the uh, behind the... Was be, that, you know, I never knew about that. It was the best kept secret. It's like... Him and Kitty Cat were always an on-screen couple. No no relationship with them or anything like that. And you know what? In my opinion, they played that out well. They got the fans to hate them. And I'll say that much right now, but there are just some real-life scum out there that are jealous. And Unity is that group. I gotta say that much right now. The so-called Green Arrow. Give me a break. Finley, yeah. I bet your daddy's proud. Freaking Adrian Cole, man of a thousand egos. He should be known as the man of a thousand bungholes. And I'm going to say that much right now. That's a little all my characters say. But these guys... Uh, I see a lot of people here are filling up on the forum here and uh, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, in a moment I'm going to bring up a good friend of Joe Kenny's. And it's... Uh, Corey Craig is going to come up here and talk about... What he remembers from Joe Kenny. All right. Corey Crichton coming up on stage as, uh, if you have not joined us, you just joined us. And hello there to everybody. You, unfortunately, you have come off to, uh, you have, you have come to a very tragic news. And this one hurts the MSW community, maybe the whole wrestling community. Joe Kenny has passed on. He died from smoke and gas inhalation when he was locked up in that ambulance that was on fire that Adrian Coleman caused yesterday in Green Bay at Fury Ring. And I'll say that much right now. And, uh, you know, I'm speechless. Fatel would have made a word about it, but Fatel is with Scott Tonica. She's just crying her eyes out about it. And Fatal was one of those talents that Kenny brought to the Federation when he needed female talent. And uh, it's definitely a big loss for her. All right. Here we go. We got uh, Corey Creighton's up here. Damn, man. Life is just not fair. I'll say that much right now. 
You know what, Joe Kenny, he may have been a heck of a person to hate on TV, but I'm going to tell you what right now. He was a heck of a person behind the scenes. I can tell you a story that I remember when uh, I was going through a divorce proceedings with uh, Bev Smith, who was still around at the time. This was quite a few years back and everything. And Kenny was the one that gave me support and he helped me out. I think he's the one that got me hooked up with Melody, to basically tell you the truth. I'll say that much right now. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, oh man, I know it's trained by Joe Masker, but you know what? I, I, you know, no, no offense to you, Masker, but Kenny's one of those great people that I got, that I got put up there at the top. Especially if you were in it, especially if you had worked in MSW, Shockwave Wrestling, Kickstart Wrestling Federation, MUOW. Oh man. I mean, you could be the strongest of man, and you know, when you get a situation like this that hits you, it hits you. Gosh. I'll say that much right now. I mean,. This this one's a freaking punch in the gut. I mean, even worse, it might have been that punch might have went through the gut and took went up went up in the chest and took the heart out of the wrestling world. I'll say that much right now. You know, I mean, heck. And uh, you, I'll say that much right. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll elaborate more on. That. I mean, he was great. He was my godfather to my triple to me and Melody's triplets for God's sakes. He was uh, a support. He was a support for everybody. I mean, no matter if you had a substance abuse problem, no matter you uh, had a problem with how to get yourself a little bit there on top. You know, he was he was a man to go to. And I'll say that much right now, Joe. You know what? You're going to be missed, buddy. You are definitely going to be missed. And to the ones that did that to him, you know what? I hope you get what's coming to you. All right. I guess uh, Captain Awesome, a.k.a. you know him better as the Shockwave Wrestling Champion, Iron Taylor, is up on stage. And Iron Taylor would like to say a couple words. All right, let me admit something right now here. House of Torture, we need to put our differences aside and work together against the unity. I am sick of Finley. I plan on taking him out, and I don't, I don't mean to, you know, I don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude about that, but it's like he basically took somebody away from us that was really. Credible to the wrestling world. <coughs> and, you know, I mean, now let's admit to that much right now. I mean, oh, man. Oh, he's a formidable competitor, I got to admit. No matter you got his bad side or good side, he was always a formidable, formidable competitor. And, uh... Well, if you're just joining us, Joe Kenny, the uh, MSW superstar and the creator of MSW Wrestling, is uh, gone. He's no longer with us here in this world because he uh, he passed away from the smoke and gas inhalation from that fiery ambulance he was locked in by Adrian Coleman. So Joe Kenny uh, was 52. He leaves behind four children and... Uh, and a girlfriend, uh, Bethany, that he's been with for 10 years. This is devastating. I mean, you know what? We talk about uh, deaths that hit the wrestling community. Yeah, if you're, uh, you've are you been a long-standing wrestling MSW fan for uh, the last 33 years. I'll tell you what. 
This one hurts. Like Crichton said, this one, uh, it's not only a punch in the gut, it's a, it's a punch in the gut that goes into your stomach, goes right up your chest, and takes out your heart. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, I guess Evil wants to come up here. I mean, a friend of his from the House of Torture and the House of Hardcore Alliance, if you don't know, Kenny was uh, in a group in a group uh, affiliation with these guys, basically. Mm. Good evening, people. I'm out of character here. I may be I may be out of character here, but it's good reason. Today, the house the house's foundation was moved. We lost a good friend, a great companion. There's nothing more we could say about that. I mean, let's put it that way. So today, me and Show's wins were for him when we wrestled in uh, MUOW. I mean, basically. I'll say that much right now, you know? I mean, this one hurts. I'm pretty sure friend, enemy, whatever you are in this uh, wrestling world business, this one hurts. I said how much, I mean, you know, without Kenny, show doesn't win the junior I IWGP heavyweight championship today, and without Kenny, I don't, I don't win the never open weight championship and the SWW championship. I tell you what, uh, he talks about me pushing him uh, to the uh, limit of what he can do. He's done the same for me. He's done the same for Show. He's done the same for Crichton, Sarah Perry, Hot Stuff Hobson, Suspiria Del Rey, and everybody else that he's wrestled against in the ring. It's just a shame that you got a lot more you got a lot more jealous people that stirs that line between fantasy and reality and they take it a little too far. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, I'll tell you what, there's a lot I bet there's a lot of longtime friends that are very sad. But I'll tell you what, I mean, I know Kenny, he's going up to that Pearly Pur Gates Federation where there's a lot of great a lot of great competitors up there. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of uh people that he admired growing up watching as he was going to the Federation that he managed to get in there. Names like Dr. Duff, Terry Funk. You have Mr. Perfect and Rick Rude here. You have Bobby Heenan here. I mean, there's a lot of names. Let me just say this right now, I mean... My final words will be for today that House of Torch Torture is coming for five people. You mark my words. And now, amazing uh, having a couple of words with evil here on the thing and stuff like that. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a very hard day for us. Very hard day. All right, guys, can we uh, calm it down here for a second? Because uh, this is a very somber moment. Coming up here, we uh, I guess uh, Jay Call wants to put in a few words. I mean, a.k.a. Jay Quinn, uh, the, da the daughter of Red Rose and Max Cruiser. Of course, she is a stepdaughter of Joe Massacre.
tell you what, I had a lot of problems during the whole day of uh, wrestling. I mean, I was that, uh, I was that rubble child. You know, I had substance abuse. I had uh, problems with uh, substances, and uh, I even had came close to death a couple times. Me and Chris Bat both. And I'll say that much right now. I mean, uh, I'll admit it was if it wasn't for Kenny, I'll say that much right now. I mean, and I saw Mr. Amazing, I guess, getting angry there, and I, I apologize for all that. I mean, basically. The thing about it is that, uh... i say that much right now, uh... Joe Kenny was there for me because I remember he had a battle with a bottle. When he was uh, he was telling me stories when, in his early days and stuff like that. And I remember seeing uh, pictures that I tell him what he really transformed himself and uh, he really stayed off of it for a while. And he helped me out. He helped Chris out. And uh, if it wasn't for him, I don't think neither one of us would be here. I'll say that much right now. Everybody says that the wrestling world is all, all full of joy and uh, glamour and everything else. Oh, there's a dark side to it, believe me. There is a very dark side of it. And I'll say that much right now. I mean, I've seen Amazing. I've seen Taylor here who's uh, had quite a few wars with Kenny and stuff like that. And I know... They could tell you how much of a formidable competitor that Joe Kenny was. I feel bad for Bethany right now, honestly. I mean, that was the best kept secret. I gotta admit that uh, <clears throat> Bethany was still attached to Kenny. Even though we all bought into the fact that Kenny was actually going out with Kitty Cat. I, you know, it blew my mind because I guess Bethany had to come down there and recognize the body. You know, I mean, it's bad enough I lost uh, I lost a lot of people in my life, but uh, this is right up there on that list with my uh, <clears throat> with my parents and my step and uh, stepdad. That uh, yeah, basically. <clears throat> oh man, I'm gonna I gotta get off the stage here. I'm about ready to uh, I'm about ready to burst here. I mean. Tears. I'm about ready to burst. And, uh, you know, gosh, oh, Bethany, Bethany, I'm so sorry for you. You, you need somebody, give me a call, please. <clears throat> All right, Bobby Sixgar back up here to you now and once again. Yeah, as I know of right now, I guess Edmund was in town. He brought the MSW world title over to us as Bethany gave it to him before she went over to Green Bay to check out the, uh, the to, to make a check on the, on the body to make an ID. And unfortunately, I wish it would have came up otherwise. But death is not fair. Death is not fair, folks. I'll say that much right now. Well, Tuesday, I guess we're gonna have a uh, we'll have a memorial show for him. Our show will be dedicated to Joe Kenny. The MSW rule tell is gonna be vacant, and who knows what it's gonna be? I mean. I'm still going to figure it out. Maybe there might be a 30-man rumble. There might be a... Uh, <clears throat> there might be a turn. There might be a tournament that goes on. I mean, let's think about it. We got a lot of plan. We got a lot of situations to figure out for this title. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Don't be surprised that you might see other associates of Kenny from his past... 
come over here and pay his, pay their respects, definitely, because I have gotten a lot of calls. I have gotten uh, a lot of disbelief uh, that they cannot believe it. this just happened. <clears throat> And I see, uh, come on guys, uh, could you, uh, could you, uh, could you, uh, basically, uh, calm it down here for a bit, okay? We're all here for the same purpose. I mean, no matter, like I said, once again, no matter if you're a friend or enemy of Kenny, you know, you worked with him. And I'll say that much right now, I mean, Wow. And you know, maybe we'll have to build a maybe we'll have to build an event after him, definitely. It will only <coughs> it will only be right. I mean, you got Crockett Cups, you got everything else, I mean you know. Oh man, this is just devastating. I'll say that much right now and uh you know. All right, I'd like to thank everybody that's been here tonight. And, uh, you know, I wish it was under better circumstances. We were having this press conference. And uh, basically, Joe, here's to you, my friend. Thank you for bringing us a great federation to work in. I'll say that much right now. And, uh,. We're going to miss you, buddy. We are going to miss you. All right, there you go, folks. you got Bobby Sixio, and right now we got Iron Taylor and Evil just arguing right now at the press conference there. Oh, man. Security trying to break it up here. <clears throat> and, uh, you know... Like I said, once again, if you missed the news, we lost a very big piece of rustling here. Uh, as of 3.35 this morning, Joe Kenny is uh, no longer with us. He was 52. And I am, uh, you know what? Wow. Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're going to cut away from this because it looks like we got something going on here. Oh, my gosh, man. I'll tell you what. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, thank you for joining us here, and uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Oh, man. <clears throat>